We form part of the Greater um, Limpopo Transfrontier Park and the Greater Limpopo Transfrontier Conservation Area. Um, and part of our commitment between the three countries uh, is to help stimulate the development of tourism. But as we know, Kruger would not exist if it wasn't for wildlife. That's what brings tourists. The same will apply to those areas across the border. We can no longer have this fortress conservation mentality. The push is let's develop across the border and let's ensure that those countries benefit from what Kruger National Park brings. Where we have surplus animals, um, such as in the case now of uh, Volibear, Zebra, Impala, we're happy to share that with our, uh, with our neighbours. Um, and of course, it's, it's a resource that is sustainable. Um, so more will breed um, and uh, we can sustain that. This park has been devastated by civil war um, for a number of years. And with that, of course, all animal numbers have been decimated. Um, the whole idea is to get the ecology going again. Um, and a big part of that would be to get animal numbers up to what they should be. And we're trying to bring in the species that, that will make a difference quite fast. So we're looking at bulk grazers. So they recycle grass at quite a big rate. The dung gets recycled by animals or insects, um, which attracts birds, which attracts small predators. So the whole system just needs that recycling of the plant material again. To go and catch them, you would normally then have a capture team which consists of a helicopter and then a ground crew. Um, the helicopter would chase the animals into what we call a boma, um, which enclose the animal and the animals get pressed into a truck. They get administered the relevant drugs to relax them or just calm them down a bit and then the trucks have to drive here. Once they arrive on site we um, have a release boma. It's just an enclosed area in which, which we put the animals um, to give them time to regroup, to relax a bit and just get over the, the, the stress of the journey. And then we open a boma and they basically walk out into the sanctuary that we built for them. So we've created a sanctuary. It's a small protected area, or not actually that small, 18,000 hectares. Put the animals in there and it gets intensive protection and there's no predators in there which will give the animals time to breed up in numbers. And you know, animals breeding, it can go incredibly quick. And then the intention, of course, is to start releasing these animals into the greater park, maybe three, four years from now. We've got a whole anti-poaching strategy that we, we're implementing. Um, we have trained rangers, new rangers, uh, well-trained rangers to uh, patrol the park. We are quite well equipped in terms of radio systems, equipment, tools, cams. It's actually quite nice. One success, conservation success story helps another conservation story that's in, in, in its sort of early days of, of, of development. And, and maybe one day is an awful help in 20 years from now might help a different park somewhere else in Africa or one of their own parks. Mm -hmm.